guys, welcome back to or welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Chan Olchen and if you have, thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me. It really does mean so much to me, I can't tell you how much. If some of you may know, my birthday is coming up, it's the 8th of August, so tomorrow and I will officially be, will finally be 18 and that is insane to me. So this year for my birthday, I have decided to do a fundraiser for Thorn and because I decided to do it through Facebook I thought I would come on YouTube and make a video and talk more about Thorn, why I support them and why I think it should be supported way more and why I believe in them. Thorn is an amazing organisation, I love the work they do, they are truly inspiring, they inspired me to make one of my series and I've got paper down just so that I know exactly what I want to talk about and so I don't get my words mixed up so I have it written down so yeah their mission I believe in and I'm a strong supporter of and I will continue to support them and I will be doing fundraisers each year for my birthday for Thorn to help them up, out as much as I possibly can so as I said this video will be talking more about them giving you more information about them so that if you're on the fence about donating money to them, you can finally go, actually, you know what, I do want to donate money or no, I don't. So, I hope you guys do like this video and let's get into it. And if you would like to verify the information I'm talking about or check them out for yourself, the link to Thorn will be down in the description box below, as well as the link to my Facebook fundraiser. It, they will both be linked down below in the description. As I have mentioned, Thorn is an amazing organisation. I love them and the work they do. They are inspirational and the technology they're coming up with all the time are so creative, they're so innovative and it's amazing that they have taken the time and work to do what they do and I truly do support them and it's because of Thorn that I did decide to start my True Crimes of Australia series which I will talk more about how they inspired me a bit later on. Thorn was founded in 2012 by Ashton Kutcher and Demi Moore. What Thorn does is fight back against child sex trafficking, sexual exploitation of children and sexual abuse of children. For so long, social media and the internet have been part of the problem. As even though the internet is amazing, it's a great place and you can find out so much, it's also a dangerous and scary place. And for so long, criminals and sex traffickers, human traffickers have used social media and the internet to find people, to pick new victims and to also sell their victim. And it also makes it a lot easier for someone to catfish someone else and put them in a very dangerous and scary situation. And the bad thing is is that sex trafficking and human trafficking are is sadly a very big, very prominent global industry that most people just don't realise how bad it is, how much of a problem it is and it is really a huge presence in every country. Every country has a problem with um, sex trafficking and it is really scary. For so long social media and the internet and new technology have been part of the problem but they were never part of the solution until the last six, seven years when Thorn decided to use the technology and create new technology and work where law enforcement was lacking and use technology that they weren't using to help find these victims, to identify them and to also raise awareness about it and really to get the word out there and do what they can to stop sex trafficking or to prevent it as much as possible, especially when it comes to children. So their work is truly amazing, I do stand by it and I have donated to them and I will continue to raise money for them every year on my birthday. Now on Thorn's website there is a page, there is a section on it, the About Us section which is really interesting and one of the very first things that's mentioned is the reason why Acton and Demi decided to create Thorn was because they saw a documentary about child sex trafficking in Cambodia and were horrified and disgusted by what they found. And 
it would, and they describe it on the website as something that you've seen but you can't unsee or something you know that you can't unknow. So they decided to create Thorn and try and help fix the problem because when they researched it more, and when people researched it more, they realised it's not just a problem in Cambodia or third world countries, it is a problem in every country. In 2014, Thorn um, released, or they put out their first prototype of a product that would help in identifying child sex trafficking victim and it worked really well so they decided to go full for make more of these and they provided it to law enforcement for free and the amount of difference they have made with their technology and what they do I will get more into in a minute but it's truly amazing just how much they've been able to do it. With Thorn they have a team of engineers and data scientists who work together and focus on the one goal of creating new and better technology to better identify a victim to do it quicker and to find more but to also um, fight back against child sexual abuse material online and to create um, procedures in for certain social media platforms that they go through to help prevent it and get rid of it. Thorn has three strategic pillars one, accelerating victim identification, two, equipping platform, and three, empowering the public. With the rise of the internet has come a rise in sex trafficking. Um, Thorn has created and uses a software called Spotlight. More information on Spotlight will be linked down below. It is part of the Thorn website, but I will have that page directly linked so that you guys can find it more easily. Now, I am going to get into some statistics and numbers and dates, which I did find really important and I think really shows the amazing work that Thorn does. In 2016, Thorn was able to identify 2,020 child victims of sexual exploitation. In 2017, 5,894 children were identified and 3.5 million teenagers learned about sex torture, which is something I will get into in a minute. It is a very big topic and it is something that really needs to be talked about more. In 2018, Thorne was able to help identify 10,081 victims. Also in 2018, Thorne's products were reported being used in 38 different countries around the world to help identify victims of child sex trafficking. Now, I mentioned sextortion and I will explain everything that I know about it right now, especially from Thorn. Sextortion is a massive issue, especially now because of social media and the internet. What sextortion is, basically, is blackmail. A person will blackmail someone else into doing whatever they want with the threat of sexual content about with them, of them, being leaked for the world to see. Now, people that may do this, may do this, could be um, complete strangers on the internet, could be former boyfriends, girlfriends, even friends or friends with benefits. It can really be anyone who does this to you. And it's a really sad thing because people use this to control victims and it's really sad. And I have something written down here is, and it was about a survey that Thorn relaunched in 2017 about sex torsion and the statistics show that one in four victims of sex torsion were 13 or younger when they experienced it and two in three sex torsion victims are girls that were threatened before the age of 16. 47% of victims were daily and are still daily threatened by the people threatening them, by the people that are still wishing to control them. Sadly, most victims of sex torture will not speak out because they are ashamed of themselves or they are embarrassed that they are going through the situation and experiencing it. And it's really scary because a lot of the strategic show that they 
will not speak out no matter what because they feel that they can't. They feel that they could be putting themselves in more danger, be putting more people that they care about in danger. And they normally will not tell anyone apart from maybe a family member or a really close friend, so someone they are extremely close with. The statistics show that even though they will, there's more chances of them reporting the perpetrator to the social media platform is very rarely that they will actually go to law enforcement for help. The strategic show that um, 40, that 54 percent of victims will tell a family member or friend, 26 percent will report the perpetrator to the social media platform or website, and only 17 percent of the victim will actually go to law enforcement for help. Thorn has an amazing campaign to stop sex torsion by encouraging and empowering victims to come forward with their stories and to talk about it. By doing this, they're spreading more awareness and letting other victims and other people know that they are not alone and that they, should, they can always seek help and that they should. Because these people doing it deserve to be behind bars. And it is great that they're doing that by increasing awareness, destigmatizing the issue. And because it is such a massive issue that can affect absolutely anyone at any time or any point in their life, no matter how old they are. Incidences of sectortion will generally fall into two different categories. One is obviously the in-person one where you have to know the person, so like exes, where they have taken an image or video of you and they blackmail you with it to coerce you back into a relationship or they use it to humiliate you or isolate you or both. The other category is obviously online where someone has found you online or found the victim online and they use a video or picture or something that is from the victim or that they found on the victim by another source whether it's a friend or someone else online and they will use it to either demand more sexual content of that person or to demand an in-person sexual interaction. It is reported that 45% of perpetrators do actually carry out their threats. It is also reported that 60% of the victims knew their perpetrators in person, so as I mentioned, exes, people they know. And it is reported that 40% of perpetrators the victims met online. As you can imagine, there are a lot of serious consequences when it comes to sectortion, the mental and physical toll and everything else. It's very bad and I will, the statistics will show that in a second. So it is reported that one in four victims saw a medical or met mental health professional. It is reported that one in three victims stay silent because they blame themselves, they are embarrassed or they are ashamed. And last but not least, it is sadly reported that one in eight victims will <clears throat> feel the need, they will move home, they will move to somewhere else because they do not feel safe. They're in fear of their safety, so they uproot their lives and move. As you can see, those strategics are really, really high and that is scary knowing that this is the world we live in. On to how Thorn has inspired me to to start my True Crimes of Australia series. To be honest, it wasn't just Thorn, it was also Kendall Ray. She's an amazing YouTuber. She covers a lot of missing persons cases, conspiracy theories, and a lot of murder cases and serial killers. I actually learned so much about American cases and true crimes through watching her videos. It, I love watching her. Her channel will be linked down below, so if you want to go check her out, please do show her some love. She's amazing, her voice is just so calming, like, I watch her videos all the time because I feel like we're kind of like kindred spirits, we both love to crime. But yeah, um, she has helped by donating so much money to Thorn over the years and has helped raise so much money for Thorn over the years. So because of it was her and Thorn that inspired me and pushed me to do this series. My series will be focusing on big crimes that have happened in Australia, like the gangland murders and stuff, but I will also be 
focusing on serial killers and a lot of missing person cases because there are a lot in Australia and there's a few that I really do want to talk about but the sad truth is a lot of missing person cases around the world do end up with the person being sold into human trafficking and sex trafficking and that is just a sad truth. I feel that to solve a lot of these missing person cases, their faces need to be everywhere. Their names need to be everywhere. All the information that can be about them that you need to know, that you should know, need to be out there in order to keep their memories and their cases alive so we can find them. If you would like to help me raise money for Thorn, my birthday fundraiser through Facebook is linked down below. And if you would like to help raise money but you want something to show for your donation, you can go to Thorn's website and buy one of their t-shirts just to openly show that you support them and maybe some other people might go, oh, I'll look that up. And they learn more and then there's more people. But if you don't really like the design, you can always check out Kendall Ray's channel and her videos. She raises so much money for Thorn as I managed, as I said before. And... A lot of her videos, especially the ones in her various series, she will have t-shirts, limited edition t-shirts in those videos that she's selling for a certain amount of time. And the fun thing is her subscribers actually design those merch, the merch, like the shirts, the jumpers and all that. And it's like really a collection that you can get and it's really cool. So if you buy one through her, which her channel is linked down below so you can do that. If you buy one through her, that money goes directly to Thorn. She doesn't touch a cent or a dime of that money, depending where you're from. But yeah, so there is a lot of ways you can help. You even just by sharing the links to Thorn's website, just by sharing the birthday dinner, the birthday fundraiser that I have, it's all helping. Even just by sharing little bits of information, it's still more awareness for Thorn and what they do, and can help so much. Remember that by donating money, you're not only helping to save victims, you're also helping to reunite families that are desperate for their child back, their sister, their brother, whichever family member it is, you're helping to reunite those families. After who knows how long they've been apart, years, months, maybe even many days or weeks, but it all counts. So anyways, I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.